I mentioned to you earlier that before we could add any absolute dates to this geological time scale of ours, we actually had a relative time scale. We had rocks from all these different time periods and we had them in order. So then how exactly did we then go about adding absolute ages to this relative time scale? It started in the late 1800s and early 1900s when radioactivity was first discovered and the discovery of the uranium lead decay scheme. The first person to um, ever um, date a rock using the uranium lead system was someone called Bertram Boltwood and this happened in 1907. And then shortly afterwards, this other person called Arthur Holmes, um, he was the first person to actually create a, rel a, like a time scale with absolute dates added into it. So what he did was he collected rocks from d different time periods, like you know the Cambrian, the Devonian, and he dated them using the uranium lead system. And what was really cool about what he did was like he was doing all of this before the discovery of isotopes, before neutrons had even been discovered. He did all of this just by measuring the ratio of uranium to lead in rocks from these different um, time periods. And like that's not the way that we really do it in, in, nowadays because now we know that there are isotopes and we measure isotopes when we're doing our dating and we, we have really different, rigorous um, and more complex ways of doing it nowadays. Um, but the, um, the answers for the um, ages of the different time periods that he got are actually not that far off the times that we have right now. 